If you like what you hear and see right now, then great. Because in this video, we're gonna be breaking down this super simple yet easy YouTube studio setup so that you can crush your talking head videos today. Let's go. What's up guys, my name is Isaiah and I help content creators level up their production game. And if you're interested in that, please hit the subscribe button below. But the first thing that I wanted to break down was my audio setup. So I'm gonna be switching over to my second camera to show you guys what I got going on. All right, so here's the B-cam. <laughs> it's literally my iPhone, but here we go. We have the Deity M4 Mini and that's clamped on to a microphone clip. that's plugged in with an aux cable on a boom arm stand runs all the way down here and this cable goes right into the camera and pretty much when I have that all the audio is baked into it into one file so I don't have to worry about that later. Next is the Canon ADD that's my A cam and that's on a Sigma 18 to 35 with a circular polarizer and then this little wire right here is for my in-ears so if you actually can see right here um, pretty much like when I'm checking levels and I have my mic my mic and audio I just pop these on so I can hear what I'm gonna get from my microphone in the end product. Going back to the B cam, I have that wire right here, which I'll show you. That is the dummy battery wire, which is plugged into the bottom right here. And that wire is running all the way down here into the power bay. And we have this power pack right here for it. And that's plugged right into the power strip. Next, we have the Amaran 60D. And that is powered by this little wire right here. And that runs all the way down here. And that is the same Velcro on here and plugged into the power strip over there. Um, and that's on a 45 by 45 aperture soft dome. The one thing that I did want to say about this grid, keep the grid on, I beg you. Because as you can see right now, the light is exactly where I want it. We have minimal spill back here. The lights back here aren't even washed out. So it keeps the light where you want it and it doesn't mess up anything of your set. It doesn't wash out anything of your set. So pretty much like if I take off the actual grid, you can see in my A cam that my face is diffused, lights are washed out, and it's just better to just keep this on because it gives you a more directional light and also gives you more control over your scene. So 100% highly would recommend keeping it on unless you're going for that kind of look where it's just kind of flatter and you need more light because you're trying to light a space. It's totally okay. Switching back to the B cam, um, that's pretty much the full setup and I have my a cam on a small rig desk clamp stand. I have my Aperture Amaran 60D on a small rig desk clamp stand too. So these are both the same. And then I have this and that's pretty much the shot for that. So I have one, two, three, four, five. And these little things are great too because these little color lights just add any splash that you want into the back and it just it just gives the room a little bit more dynamic. This is the background a little bit more dynamic. Um, and I also have these um, LED strips on the back and I have strips right here, which are included. My lightsaber, I have this little display thing, which is colored too, and all that's plugged into here. So literally, I flip this switch right here, and all that's plugged in. But essentially, this is pretty much the shot. We have one, two, three, four, five. That's pretty much the setup. That's what you're gonna get for under $500, and this is what it would look like. That's what the shot would look like. But one thing I also did want to recommend too is after some research, after having this, I did want this shot a little bit lower just so I can get a little bit more of the foreground in it. And I have a link in the description. It, it says like an alternative stand. And honestly, that's the one that I want to upgrade to later on. But this kind of just does the job for right now. But yeah, this is pretty much the setup. It's super simple, super quick. Um, oh, uh, I also did want to show you my little power bay down here because I, I worked really hard on that. So I'm gonna switch back to my B cam. So pretty much this whole setup right here, the light, camera, mic, all that stuff right here, that's all run into here. It just plugged into the power, just plugged into my wall here. So pretty much if I flip that switch right there, all of this is ready to go. And obviously I can't flip it right now because I'm filming right now, but pretty much this whole setup right here, as you can see, is flipped on by two switches. That switch and then that switch down there. And then it's ready to go and right when I'm sitting right here on my A cam, this is how it would look. 
It's a pretty simple setup, super quick, super easy, but that's pretty much it. So I hope you got some value out of this. I hope this kind of gives you some insight into this disclaimer. The camera, the lens, and all the little little mini jobbies back here, like my HS8s and you know all this little small stuff. Like it's not included into the price. It just gives you kind of like the basic foundations of your talking head videos. So you can kind of transform your own set and it's gonna be your own unique one. So this one's unique to me. This is what I had, and this is kind of what I made the most out of for my set. But that's all for me, folks. Like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. Affiliate links are down below. Thank you guys so much again for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.